In the last lectures, we saw how to import, organize, create, and filter our photos in Lightroom. From now on, we will be actually starting to edit our photos. So the first section that we will be covering in this course is lens collection section. From the right hand side, this section. Because of the way how the lenses are built and how the light physics work, no matter how cheap or how expensive your lens is, it will have some problems and some faults during taking photos. The lens collection section of the Lightroom deals with that problems that are caused because of the lenses. The most common problem of lenses are called distortion. So what is distortion? In photography, distortion is referred to an optical aberration that deforms and bends physically straight lines and make them look curvy. As it's shown in this example, we see that these lines are perfectly straight when you see it in real life, but in this photo, it looks bendy and it looks curvy, causes the image to lose its purpose and looks weird. There are several different types of distortion and I have listed some of them for you in this graphs. I have also attached an external link which goes deep into the concept of distortion phenomenon and types of distortion. If you're curious and want to know more about this topic, you can check that out and add to your knowledge. One more important tip or point is that distortion is mostly visible in the wide angle lenses. In the photo that we have on the screen, if we pay attention, we see that the sea level or the horizon line is not a straight line. It's almost curvy and the whole image looks like a lens ball. To solve that, we go to lens correction section of Lightroom. To solve the distortion of the image, we just check the enable profile correction. And just with one click, Lightroom automatically analyzes and solves the problem. How Lightroom solves this? Lightroom uses a lens profile, and these profiles are pre made and it is made by Adobe company and it covers almost most of their famous lenses. And if for some reason your lens is not included in the lens profile section, you have the options to manually solve the distortion and when you think of your image. Also, if the Lightroom did not detect your lens automatically, you can choose brand of your camera, the model, and also profile of your lens. But don't worry, in most cases and most of the time, Lightroom automatically detects which lens do you use and apply the corrections accordingly to your image. We have two more sliders, distortion and vignetting. If for some reasons we are not happy with the automatic corrections that Lightroom made for us, we have the freedom to do it manually. As you can see, but in most cases and most of the time, you do not need to do any more works the Lightroom automatically solve the problem for you. Play with the sliders and see what they do. And these are easy and you can you can see the difference and the effects of them visually. Here's the before and here's the after of applying profile corrections. Big results with less work. The next problem that causes in lenses are chromatic aberrations. If you are taking photos for a while, you may have seen this kind of photos or images. And this is called chromatic aberration, or some may call it purple fringing or, or color fringing. Technically, chromatic aberration is failure of a lens to focus all the colors at the same point. And when that happens, it's called chromatic aberrations. Examples that I'm showing you is extreme cases, but all the lenses, no matter how cheap or how expensive they are, they might have some sorts of chromatic aberration. So to be safe, to make sure that the problem is solved, remember to always check the chromatic aberration option, check, just to be sure. And yeah, as simple as this, you can remove chromatic aberrations from your photos. If in some case you don't like the results or the chromatic aberrations are too severe and you want to do it manually, Lightroom has you covered and in the next lecture, we will be covering how to remove chromatic aberrations manually and also solve or remove lens distortions manually also. We'll see you in the next lecture.